Well, hello and welcome everyone. This is Jeff Hooks. Uh, I am the President and Chief Operating Officer of Victory Nutrition International. I want to welcome you to our uh, Saturday VNI Partner Training. Um, we have a, a great call, a great event lined up for you. We've got uh, great participation. Um, and for some of the leaders that just plugged in, I shared this about five minutes ago, you might want to send out some last second text messages to your newest partners and some of your engaged partners and emerging leaders. Make sure that uh, they plug into this, uh, this event because um, we're going we're gonna to share some, some wonderful, wonderful information. Um, here's what's interesting. Um, and by the way, you, you see there? Branded. I'm branded. That's something we're going to be talking about talking more about as we move forward. I actually was wearing this a couple days ago and somebody looked at it. Uh, I was in line at a, at a restaurant um, and somebody said, uh, nutrition that gets in, what does that mean? I said, glad you asked. There was a conversation. So, um, you know, here's the way I'll share something. Here's, here's a, <laughs> I hadn't planned this, but let me go ahead and share this. If, <clears throat> you know, when you're engaged, which obviously all of you are, you're, you're plugged into the, the partner training for today. You're leading by example. Um, <clears throat> but I love the, the idea that um, you're, when you're engaged, there's evidence that you're engaged in, in the VNI mission. And we all know the VNI mission. VNI mission is assisting people in helping and in, in, in becoming beacons of health, hope, and abundance. So we're, this is, we're on a mission together. And, and today's call for some of you that might be our, brand, our newest partners, um, and I know we've got one individual that, that in, it came on board literally uh, 24 hours ago. So if you're, if you're one of our newest partners or our top leaders, which are on the, the phone, Ed and Gina uh, Bender, uh, ambassador leaders, leading by example, as always, setting the pace for their team, doing what what needs to be done, demonstrating what needs to be done. That's the best way to train people, by the way. The best way to coach, the best way to train is to do what you want your team to do. That way your coaching comes from moral authority. Your coaching comes from authenticity. And, that, and that's interesting. But here, anyway, here's the point. Uh, I love this thought. Think about this. If, 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 let's say you were driving down the road and a highway patrolman pulled you over and you were accused of being uh, a VNI partner. Is there enough evidence in your car, in your briefcase, in your purse, in your trunk to be convicted? Think about that. <clears throat> if you if 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 you were pulled over by a highway patrol or police officer in your local community, play along, and you were accused of being a VNI authorized partner, is there enough evidence to be found guilty? Now, today, I'm doing okay. Today, there's enough evidence. There's evidence here. There's evidence because I've got product everywhere. There's, you know, there, there's evidence because I've got marketing brochures. I've got, you know, there's evidence. But that's a good question. That's a good, you know, kind of a good uh, um, idea or a good concept. Um, brand yourself. Have the tools ready. We're going to talk a little bit more about that with Mike as we move forward. Have, you know, be ready for that conversation. Um, now, by the way, I want to, I want to do a, a couple of things as, before we transition into the, the main part of our call. Um, we had a, an amazing, let me get this chat ready. We had an amazing uh, monthly corporate leadership call this past Tuesday. And with Cynthia Sauer and brand new executive director, Cynthia Sauer, brand new executive director, Ken Nazmitz. If you have not heard that yet, please go back in your back office Right along the left side, when you're, you log into your back office, your partner back office, uh, it says conference calls. You click on conference calls and you'll see the recording uh, from Tuesday night's call. And in Tuesday night's call, we always talk about learners, uh, leaders are learners. And we talk about the commitment as a, as a team, as a VNI family, as a culture, uh, a commitment to learn and grow and improve. Um, it's about progress, not perfection. It's about progress, not perfection. And, um, you know, incremental progress, getting just a little bit better. Give, you know, it, it's about having fun, enjoying the journey, but being a little bit better. Well, in the spirit of that, I want to make sure um, everybody got the book recommendation from Cynthia Sauer. If you look at your chat bar, and again, for those of you that are plugged in over the phone, it's called The Ideal Player. 
the ideal player. I'm sorry, the ideal team player, the ideal team player. That's the name of the book. And it's available Amazon, you know, or, or you look, you know, your, any Barnes and Nobles or sizable bookstore. Um, and here's what's interesting. When you have, like when we learn from Mike Boston today, who just went director in May, whose income has absolutely exploded over the last several months. Um, when you learn from brand new executive director, Cynthia Sauer, and whose income increased 50% month over month from April to May in terms of her commissions and bonuses and overrides. Um, and they make a book recommendation. Here's, here's just a tip, and this is the way I think. If somebody's doing what I wanna do, and they're, and they're willing to pour into me, and they're willing to make a recommendation, and, there's, and they say, in this case, Cynthia said, this is a great book. I think she even said, I've, I've read it twice. Then, you know, get, go out and get it, get that. It's, it's, she shared some of the content, as you'll hear on the replay, if you weren't plugged in live, if you haven't heard it yet. Um, it's a great book, The Ideal Team Player. So remember that, if you're taking notes, leaders are learners, and, and, and carve out some time every day even if it's five minutes to read from a good book, to listen to an audio program, listen to some Jim Rohn, listen to some John Maxwell. You can get free content on YouTube uh, from John Maxwell, Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, um, Norman Vincent Peale, uh, the list, Les Brown, if you want pure, solid inspiration. Um, there's really, and I say this with respect for my, there's really, and love, there's no excuse not to, not to have a personal development plan, a growth plan. Let me share a book with you. I'm going to give you my own rec book recommendation, Verbal Judo. Okay, Verbal Judo. I, uh, I've been hearing about this book for years. I finally bought the book uh, for my oldest son, who's 16 and a half, and I got a copy for me, and I am about halfway through. I got to tell you, this is an amazing book. Verbal Judo, don't let the name fool you. I'm a flaming amateur, you know, martial artist, and so I love the name. But Verbal Judo, the, the title is, the, the subtitle, The Gentle Art of Persuasion. And let me say on the front cover, learn what never to say, engage people through empathy, listen better and always be heard, stop verbal attacks in their tracks. Um, and then on the back, um, Dr. Thompson, who wrote the book, his five uh, universal truths of human interaction. That's what he calls it. Number one, people feel the need to be respected. Number two, people would rather be asked than be told. That's a great leadership tip. That's people have, number three, people have a desire to know why. Number four, people prefer to have options over threats. And number five, people want to have a second chance. So folks, <clears throat> I got to tell you, for, for, our, for our mission, Verbal Judo, just like Cynthia's recommendation, The Ideal Team Player, is, a, is an amazing book. This is, this is a book that will improve your leadership skills, your communication ability, your ability to connect with people, your leadership influence, um, your people skills. I mean, this is an amazing, this is an amazing book, and it's really a fun read. It, it really is. And I want you to know, that, that I also, in terms of my corporate responsibilities to each of you, uh, I practice what I'm, what I'm preaching, so to speak, uh, in terms of reading. I just got this book in that I'm very excited about. It's called Subscribed. It just came in yesterday, and I'm going to be reading it over the weekend. Um, why the subscription model will be your company's future and what to do about it. The subscription model. Now, in most cases, in the examples from what I've skimmed, they're talking about technology companies that have subscription models. But the same logic, the same um, principles apply to our mission with VNI, the subscription model. And we're going to, Mike and I, we're going to be talking about that as we go through the importance. Yes, it's great to have somebody, you know, engage and, and, and place a, a first product order. That's, 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 extraordinarily important. And, and that's the beginning of, where's my Enzorb? It's hiding from me. Oh, it's back here. You know, that's the beginning. Sorry. Should have done that. I moved the, moved the, uh, the, the camera, but um, you know, that the getting a new customer or partner to place a first time order is wonderful but we, you want them on a subscription, that value proposition, the convenience, the control, the never run out of product, 
the benefits of the subscription rewards program. You know, again, that's something as a, as a team, as a company, we're going to continue to work on. So point is leaders are learners. We, we, none of us is as smart as all of us. And, and we, 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 it's what we learn after we know it all that counts. Okay. John Wooden, I've always quoted John Wooden on that and I still probably will, but I now know, as I shared a few, a few weeks ago on a training, that John Wooden got that from Earl Nightingale on his Lead the Field program. So uh, uh, it's what we learn after we know it all that counts. So what does that mean? That means stay humble all, for all of us. Whether you're brand new, a brand new partner, whether you're an ambassador, Ed and Gina Bender, and the top income earners in the company, ambassador going towards crown ambassador, or any point in between in your journey, and, and, and whether you're the president of the company serving uh, this community like I am, whether you're the founder and CEO, we all want to stay humble and stay grateful and learn and learn and learn and learn. So um, with that, let me get, I'm going I'm to do two housekeepings and I'm going to do our introduction. I want to get right to this. All right. We've got so much great information to share. Um, one of the principles that we always share every single Saturday on our partner training is number one, stay plugged in. Okay, that's one of you, people always wanna know um, for obvious reasons, what are the secrets, if there are anything, secrets? What are the secrets of building a, a customer base with VNI? What are the secrets of, of success, the principles of success that are predictable? That's, that's what we all want in business and in life to some degree. We want predictability. If I do X, I can expect Y, you know, kind of paint by the numbers. Well, I'm going to use the chat bar a little bit today. First is stay just like you're doing today. Stay plugged in. Okay. And then number two is do something positive every day to grow your business, to grow your customer base. Those two principles, stay plugged in, now, that's, that means stay plugged into the events. Now, look, you can't make them all live, and we know that. That's the reason we record everything. In your back office, you have, for you and your team, uh, an amazing library of content that, get this, that's at your fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So when you enroll a new partner, You've got content. You can forward them, you know, from day one, one of our recorded trainings from a couple of months ago. You can forward them the amazing 35-minute training, uh, partner training that, that Ed and Gina Bender did last Saturday. That was, and we've got a lot of great content, but that's, at the, that's up at the top of my list. Um, that, was an that was a wonderful training. It was succinct. It was to the point. They shared tip after tip after tip. <clears throat> you've got all that content, excuse me, you've got all that content right at your fingertips. So you're working, if you're working this part time, you, 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 maybe you sponsored, you bring on a couple of partners this week and you don't have time to personally train them. Have a conversation, forward one of our recorded trainings and then schedule a follow up and let the tools do the work. Let the system do the work. We've got that with all of our recording calls. We've got that on the front end. You know, we've got with all the videos, how many videos of our new videos, the, the product science video, or if somebody's open and looking at the business, the entire, you know, 10 minute VNI story video that by the way, Mike Boston is featured in, you know, how many of those have you shared in the last week? What about your existing customers? If, if you've got an existing customer that's on ProDivide, why not share the one minute short video, the brand new video that we have on Brain Reward or Insorb or Thion Extra? Use the tools. You know, a hammer can't drive any nails if we keep it locked up in our toolbox. So the tools are all there for you. They're all integrated into your marketing website. And so if you're brand new, not to overload you, remember it's about progress, not perfection. But if you're brand new, the goal would be take the weekend, take some time and, and just play around with your marketing website, the customer facing site, the partner facing site with the drop down box, 
look at the recorded content that's available on the resources tab and, and, and just and, and play around with your back office. Just get comfortable. Don't spend a lot of time, but get comfortable with where the basic resources are so that when you're out there sharing and caring, you've got the resources at your fingertips that you can, you can forward out as needed, if that makes sense. So stay plugged in. That means stay plugged into the events our weekly uh, events, our monthly events. We talked about that on the, the corporate leadership call last Tuesday. Uh, stay plugged into your upline success coaches. Stay, you know, most of our top leaders do their own trainings with their own team. To, and and, and, and they, then these, these training, this weekly training, for example, supplements what they're already doing. Many of our leaders have their own conference calls, their own Zoom presentations. So you want to lead, depending on your goals, you want to lead your team as you move forward and then leverage the system. So stay plugged into your upline, stay plugged into your marketing website, you know, stay and, and that's exactly what you're doing right now, which is, which is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. Now do something positive, every positive every day. That's talking about consistency. And Mike and I are going to spend, spend a lot of time on that. So it is my privilege uh, now to welcome on officially, he's already been here, uh, onto the platform, a gentleman that most of you know, um, Mike Boston and his uh, lovely wife, Christy, uh, have two wonderful daughters. They live just outside of Charlotte in a, on Lake Wiley, South Carolina, in a beautiful country club called Palisades. In fact, Mike is a partner with the Swim and Tennis Country Club over at Palisades. Um, he is, uh, you, many of you met him at the Empower Conference. He was on the leadership panel uh, on Friday at the Empower Conference. You've seen him on the video, our full VNI story video. Many of you have seen him on the last two monthly kickoff calls for the month of May and the month of April. You've listened to him. But if you're brand new, you haven't and you're in for a real treat. So, Mike, are you there? Hello? <laughs> oh, yes, Jeff. Oh, hi. I was, I was just reading. I love it. I love it. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Mike. And for those of you on the phone, Mike had a book up to the camera because he was, he was listening and reading at the same time. Napoleon Hill's A Year of Growing Rich. So that's awesome. Well, that's Mike, my recommendation. Awesome. I love it. That's, that's good reading. Well, Mike, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule. Uh, sure. Uh, congratulations on going director in May. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And I know your vision, I know you're very mission focused. You're very focused on contribution, on servant leadership. But for those that, that, that don't, that, that maybe this is the first time they've met you, why don't you just start, give us a little bit of uh, perspective on your background and and what you've done for a living and, 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 you know, get us up to the point of when you first saw VNI. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. And great job on the intro this morning. I do actually want to recommend that book to you. And I have a couple of chapters that I'll, uh, I'll mention in a little bit that I, I think are important. Um, so uh, my background, um, I grew up uh, basically in New Jersey, then Hilton Head, then went and played college tennis at the College of Charleston and moved up to Charlotte, North Carolina back in the early 80s. I've been a tennis club pro and uh, then uh, manager, then developer, and now partner in the club that you mentioned. And then I morphed into real estate to, uh, to help support the family um, income. So um, I'm currently really busy with both uh, a real estate, which I, we've talked about, Jeff, and then B, um, you know, the club business is complex because we own two clubs and one is in Raleigh, Durham, and one is here in Charlotte Palisades. So it keeps me hopping. And I know we're going to talk a lot about, you know, how to help everybody to keep hopping during distractions. So uh, that's a little bit about me. As far as V&I goes, Jeff, um, you know, initially Ken and yourself introduced it to me and I was just you know, always looking for the leading edge products because when you're busy and you're concerned about your family's health, you're always looking for what advantages are out there that we can get our loved ones taking and then those that we care about. And I think that's, you know, you know, Bill's whole mission there is to get this product in the hands of, 
you know, many, many people. And, and we're just at the beginning, in my opinion, I think we're at the very beginning of, of that, uh, that goal of his. So I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. All right. Super. All right. So we're going to, what we're going to do, this is, you know, everybody, we, we want the tone of, of these Saturday partner trainings to be relaxed, almost, you know, like a, like a poolside chat. Uh, where we're all sitting there. Ah, look at that. Mike's branded as well. And that, by the way, folks, that was not scripted. That was not oh, yes. I saw yours and I went and changed shirts. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. That's, I love it. Um, so, you know, team, get yourself branded. We've still got some, I think, some shirts on the website from our Empower Conference. But uh, it really is something we're going to talk more about as we move forward. But if you, you know, you get yourself branded, it does create some conversations. And if you add, you know, one customer a quarter or one customer every six months because you're branded or because somebody sees you consuming the product in public and says, hey, what's that? Which happens all the time. By the way, there's a tip. I keep forgetting to share this. Here's a tip. When you take your products whenever possible, have someone see you taking it like, like, you know, you don't, don't clap your hands and do something crazy to get attention, but just, you know, take, sometimes if you're at a restaurant or a coffee shop and it's time to take, if you're going to do an afternoon prototype, let somebody see you and you'll be amazed at what, what happens. But uh, so we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals and I'm going to use the chat. Uh, Mike, you, I want you to focus on, on uh, sharing the, the, your, your insights and wisdom from your heart, and I'll do some of the chat stuff. But we're going to first talk about, uh, well, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. For the new, what, what was it that attracted, I mean, you're busy. You're running multiple businesses. You've got, you're a family man. You're an amazing husband, amazing dad. I've known you for years. What is it, you know, you, you really don't have time for anything else on your plate. So what, what is it specifically about VNI? You've got a lot of people that are sharing products and sharing business ideas with you. You know, you're a real estate developer as well, and you've got a company there. And, and so people are always bringing investment ideas and everything. What is it about VNI that, that caught your attention? Jeff, I got, I always go back to the most important thing. And I think for everybody listening in, I think the most important thing that we have here is a company um, started by Bill and Steve that has the highest level of integrity to deliver to all of us products that we can personally consume and share with others that we care about or others that we, you know, get to know uh, that we, we care about. Um, I have to go back, Jeff. The thing that holds me, the glue for me, and I believe it should be for everyone, is who are we associating with? Who are we hanging out with? Who is it that we are partnered with? And can they stand behind us and can we stand behind them? And in the case of VNI, when you became president and I got the chance to know, you know, like Bill and Kim and, and Dr. Stabachi and Steve and some of the others, I can't say enough and I can't tell you how important that is to, in, in my professional career to make sure that the people that I bring to VNI are going to be in good hands. All associations are great and the products work. I can't make that any more clear. That's what I believe in. Awesome. That's well said. That's well said. Now, you know, from a coaching standpoint, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw, as we discussed this morning, I want to throw a couple of ideas out. Um, and, and, and one of the, you know, the fundamental building blocks, actually, you know what, I'm going to, before we go there, when, when, Actually, no, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a chat. Let me see this. All right. The, yeah. Give me just one second. The what? I'm going to turn this blind here. Why of your VNI business. All right. I just sent that in the chat. And for those on the phone, um, I chatted the what and why. What and why are in quotes. The what and why of your VNI business. All right. As we've talked about, and this, I'm going to throw the concept out to the team, and then I want you to, to take the lead, Mike. Um, one of the things that's so important, if you're a brand new partner, like some of you are, or if you're, you're, you're a leader, emerging leader, you have to identify what you want out of your VNI business and why that's important. Okay, and, and, and take some time, if you're a person of faith, pray about it, write about it, journal it. Uh, what, what do you want out of your VNI business and why is that important? Because as Mike said, and this, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is gonna be, we're gonna cover this in multiple different ways this morning. Everyone's busy. 
and, and sometimes we're busy with good things happening. And as we all know from life, sometimes we're busy because things we really aren't enjoying are happening. You know, you've got mountaintops, you've got valley experiences, and usually we're somewhere in the middle, either this going this way or going that way at any given day. And so there's a lot of things pulling on us. And what, what we've learned uh, is the, the having, taking the time, to connect your head to your heart to the mission. What do you want out of the, the, the VNI business? Why is it important? Is it part-time income? Is it paying off debt? Is it um, a residual cash flow that allow you to support your charities or your church? You know, there, there's a there's a, you know, is it is it the, the pure mission of of blessing people with these products and building a big customer base. I mean, Mike Denenberg, brand new director, Mike, you and I were talking about this this morning. Mm -hmm. He's brought on 80, he's put 80 people on the product in the last two months. Incredible. I mean, it's, you know, it's, and, and, and his mission is blessing people physically and all the financial rewards that have come from the VNI model are just thank you checks for his servant leadership, which is exactly what your focus is as well. So what are you, what, what comments would you have for all of our partners on, you know, determining the what and why, what do I want out of the business? Why am I engaging and how important that is? Okay, Jeff, a couple of things I'll say, and I will answer that, but I wanted to say a couple of things. Um, when everyone's taking the time right now to listen in, everybody that's on this, this, this uh, video and, and call, um, you know, if you don't take notes, it's pretty hard to remember some of the great things that come out of it. Like just your book suggestions, Jeff, and those that were on the call the other day with Cynthia and Ken. Um, it's so valuable to get this knowledge, but without jotting some notes down, and I always have a notepad ready, I think it's hard, it's hard to recall all that. And so I appreciate that uh, you give us the knowledge, but I just think no notes, no knowledge. You're like, you're like the king of, uh, you know, intelligent statements that we all need to remember, but no notes, no knowledge. There's no way you're going to recall it all. So that's one thing. And uh, I had written down as the title of today, uh, distract, turn distractions into actions. So I knew you'd like that. Turn distractions into actions. Um, well, here, you know, the, I want to answer your question, but I also kind of want to delve into one of the main parts that I know we wanted to discuss, and that is distractions. But would you like yeah, to answer? Yeah, jump in to cover. You know, there, I, we're going to go there, but the what and why is the foundation as you, as you why? Uh, that everything else sits on top of. If you, yeah. if you flip that step, the distractions are going to pull you away. So that's yeah, so yeah. Go with it how you want to. Okay, well, I mean, I'm going to go right to the why, and, and, and the what, of course, is, uh, you know, the VNI business, and, and what, what do we want to do with it? The why, the why is, why are you doing it? And Jeff is right. VNI cannot be a priority for you if the why isn't strong enough. Um, the why for me, it, it really boils back to family, to me. I think everything, probably for everyone on this call, I mean, I don't know any parent that doesn't love their children so much that they would not try to build a legacy income out of the VNI business. I don't know any parent or individual on this call that would not have someone in their life that they want to take care of. If you're single, there's a mom or a dad that needs to take care of family. There's no way. So that is probably the missing link because most of us, I want to say about 98% of us do business that we have to work and we get paid. And if we don't work, we don't get paid. And that's the most dangerous income that we have somehow all adopted is the way we need to earn a living. And it's not the way to earn a living. It's the way to get by and to meet, meet commitments, which we all need to do. But, you know, legacy income is what I'm so focused on with VNI for my family. So there's my why. That's, that's pretty clear. I love it. I love it. Now, let me ask you this. You turn distractions into actions. Okay. I love that. <laughs> all right, all right, y'all. I'm taking notes too. Now I got to. So okay, notes too. That's good. All right, so no notes, no knowledge. Turn distractions into action. All right, I want to give you. I'm gonna set. I want to set you free. Um, I'm gonna set the stage on the, the building okay. the distractions here. But yeah. I want to do it. One of the things that Mike, you and I have talked about this in the past. 
um, and I'm going to send this in the chat bar, spare time versus, versus part-time with, with your V with the VNI mission. Okay. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say, say it this way. I always tell people, and, and, and I'm going to set you free on this to spread your wings, Mike, because this is exactly, all right. So spare time, I always tell people spare time doesn't work. Now, what I mean by that is someone can engage, as you know, Mike, someone can engage with us with this mission, spare time, add a few customers, add a couple partners, you know, be blessed with a few thank you checks. But if you want, and you could do that, you could go associate manager for sure. You could go manager, prop, maybe even executive manager at the most. But, but spare time is not what we're looking for. When we talk about do something positive every day, to, to, to expand your, your VNI mission and business. Consistency creates momentum. So spare time means, all right, I'm going to uh, do, I'm going to do something positive with my VNI business if I've got nothing else to do. You know, yeah. after, you know, after I've done this, 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 everything else, if I trip over my, my subscription order that's on my front porch, I, oh, maybe I'll make a phone call. You know, it's yeah. like, it's like, you know, if something, if, if, a brain reward falls off my shelf and hits me in the head. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll make a phone call or maybe I'll follow up with that person. Spare time is, I always tell people that does not work. Just enjoy being a customer. Yeah. Spare time is you're making, even though you've got other priorities, other commitments, uh, and, and, and boy, Mike, you're, you're the perfect example of leadership and encouragement for all of us. Uh, you've got other commitments, but your V and I mission is a priority. It is. It's just a priority less time per day than than others, maybe, or than other situations. So run with that a little bit. The distractions, oh. that whole concept. Okay. Well, Jeff, and for everyone out there, um, what I what I uh, I had planned for today uh, a conversation about the three P's: products, being plugged in, and priorities. Okay. But let me just pick up on the priorities part of that because um, I wrote down that you want to help each customer or partner achieve exactly what they want to achieve. So I think it's very, very important when you're getting started, you know what you want to achieve. And then as you bring uh, customers on, you know what they want to achieve. And then as you bring partners on, you, you learn and understand what they want to achieve. And I think you have to do that without judgment. Jeff, I think there can be no judgment because part of the problem for all of us is there's always guilt on what we're doing or what we're not doing. We're not doing what we're doing. And that goes back to distractions. But and I'll get to that. But the main thing is, is help people exactly with what they want to accomplish. And then if they're doing that, remind them that they're actually succeeding, even if it's just a partner who says, hey, I'm not ready right now, but I want to take the products. That's the majority of my business right now. Um, so. Uh, now I want to transition into distractions. Okay. So and my, my, real quick, let me jump in here. When I yeah. say spread your wings, that's exactly what I'm saying to go through your three P's, spread your wings and soar. So, so don't let me, don't let my questions, the training that you've prepared, I want to kind of throw out questions to, to, to let you cover all that, but don't be confined by my questions. Let just run, run with it, partner. You guys, you're great, Jeff. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, uh, then I, then I, there's there really the two big topics are, and, and is, uh, you know, making the VNI team. That was basically my topic for today, making the VNI team. Um, and what does that mean? And, uh, you know, what, what should you expect of yourself and others? Basically, in, in making the VNI team, I had three P's customers. Uh, products plugged in and prioritization. I think those are the three key areas. Um, you know, customers, the priority is making sure that uh, you take the product every day. So if there's, I don't think there's customers on the call, but just maybe following up with your customers, make sure they're on the products, make sure they're enjoying the benefits. The second thing I would say is if you're a partner, you're not only taking the products, but uh, you're doing all of the three P's. And those three P's are, uh, products, learn all about them. Do everything you can possibly do to understand the products. What, what I do want to warn everybody is make, it, make sure it sounds like you and doesn't sound like, unless you're anywhere close to being as good as Bill, 
to explain the products, I would say stay away from that side, but be yourself. Because if you start talking like someone that isn't yourself, people are uncomfortable with that. So yeah, so my language is really simplistic. Um, you know, basically, uh, I make sure that people realize that what Bill said early on is this product helps you uh, get your blood healthy. And once your blood is healthy, it can do amazing things. So, you know, that's about the depth of my scientific knowledge. Jeff is probably laughing over there. I can't see him right now, but that's probably the depth of my knowledge. But here's what I said about uh, that part of it. Um, let's see here on the products. What I've done, and it might help everybody, is read the brochures from the company first. It's amazing. Those brochures that we hand out to folks, you guys, they are fantastic. There's so much knowledge in those. If you did nothing else except read the brochure first and then hand the brochure to someone, they're going to be so impressed. They're going to order products from you. Um, another thing I did to learn about the products is I, I click on the on our website, there's a YouTube button. And if you click on that YouTube button, that'll take you to the most amazing videos from YouTube that you can learn all about the products. And of course, you want to look for anything Steve Kushner or, or Bill Downs has done, but uh, those really help. And one more thing, I take notes. I take notes because it's, you know, it's a lot to know. And three, uh, stay plugged into the calls and the, the Zoom meetings like this and, and take notes. Um, just too hard to recall, there's too much going on and that goes back to distractions because it's hard to remember everything that you're supposed to remember. So that's what I would have to say that. The two, uh, the two events during the week, the Thursday uh, night product and a business call and, uh, the, the, um, and then this meeting, of course, the getting you know, for business leaders. Jeff, you're back. Yes. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this quick question, because you're covering some great information and I, I don't want to I don't want to go too far back. So let me ask you this. What builds the customer base? Now, this is a this is a scripted question with a purpose and you're going to smile as I articulate it. What builds the customer base uh, and the VNI business? Is it product knowledge or is it product sharing? Product sharing is the uh, key to that product sharing. I think we need a limited amount of knowledge to open that door. Like I, no one has a more limited knowledge than I do. I just have faith in what Bill has done. So I have very limited knowledge. I'm, Ken Nasmith is amazing. And he could, he could simply, and it shows in his business, but I'm never gonna be that good. Uh, I, I share the product. I share the product. I share, also, Jeff, you mentioned this earlier. I forgot I was wearing this shirt in a meeting the other day. And uh, Jordan Isner asked me about it. He goes, oh, Mike, yeah, I'm loving the Brain Reward product. I'm on, you know, just uh, it's, it really is that self-marketing. It's important. So share the product. That's the answer to that. Awesome. Yeah, and I think what you're getting at is knowledge is important. Sharing is important. But at the end of the day, what sets us free uh, for, for engagement is belief. You know, oh, yeah. yeah, it's the belief and, 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 and knowledge creates belief, but that applied knowledge, when you start bringing customers on and partners and they start giving you feedback from what the products are doing in their lives, that's what drives that belief up. And it, then it becomes this, it gets to that point of conviction. Oh, like, yeah. All right, back to you, partner. I'm going to zip it. No, no, come in anytime, Jeff. You're, you're our leader. Um, so, but here's an interesting thing. So we have the two calls once a week, the Thursday night and the Saturday call. Those are very important for partners, okay? Not, not, not so important for customers, right? Um, but then once a month, there's two additional calls. So there's not too much to participate in if you are a partner and you wanna build this business. You know, the, 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 um, the, the, the two calls once a month, I mean, they're just, they're key for understanding the product and Bill will do that. And then you do the corporate call. So I just, uh, there's that side. So now I want to zip over to, you know, it's great when you lose your, your place in your notes. Um, okay. So uh, now I want to go to prioritizing. I think this is important. You guys know yourself know your team, support your team, 
And uh, Jeff, I think you'll appreciate that. I'm going to mention this. In supporting your team, uh, try not to, and maybe don't, because Jeff and I have pretty much decided that giving free product, except for a sample, but doing a, an order for someone and allowing them to get the product by you, you know, having so much confidence in this, you'll go, wait and see what happens. Here's a month's supply. We've pretty much seen that doesn't work um, because it's got to come from them. They have to have a need. So you're kind of telling them they have a need, but they're not telling you they have a need. So give them a sample and let that work for you. Okay. And uh, on the, and, that, and that's part of what I mean by prioritizing. You've got to know what you're trying to accomplish. Um, on customers, you know, we've got the VNI science, the brochures and everything else, but make sure you're plugged in. Prioritize, know your partner's needs. Um, I even, with my partners, I have them on a scale of like one to 10 and I kind of know where they are and then I'll help them at exactly the rate that they want to be helped, okay? Someone who's really in the hunt, they won't leave you alone. They'll come back to you and they're gonna come after you. So in summary on my three P's, so the, my three P's were, let's see, what were they? Uh, let's see here, plug in, prioritize and use the products. Here we are, here we are, sorry. Yeah, making the team. Three awesome. P's, products, plug in and prioritize. Awesome, now on the prioritize part, Mike, um, you know, we, and again, you and I actually specifically talked about this this morning, the distractions, you know, we, we know, and, and, and I've got permission to, to share this to give everybody a little bit of context. So everybody, as you know, Mike went director uh, in May, in the month of May, his business absolutely exploded. And by the way, his volume went way past, um, 80% past the, the, the director level of 12,000 group volume. Now, we hit, we hit June, you're rocking and rolling. You still are, your business is growing, but you, we hit June, you, 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 you led with Cynthia, the, the, uh, uh, our monthly kickoff call in early June. And then all of a sudden your real estate business explodes and folks, I'm not going to mention specifics, but I'm talking like really big things happening. And, and then you're building towards this amazing trip to Africa that you and Christy had planned for a long time and the, you know, all that. So, so talk up. So, you know, we all have distractions, but again, that goes back to the spare time versus part time and breaking the zero, the concept of breaking the zero. So what counsel can you give just from your own experience yeah. this month yeah. with, with, you know, making sure that you keep, the VNI mission a priority amongst other priorities. Okay. Well, first of all, Jeff, I have the habit of seemingly to recruit people that have about as many distractions as I do. So that's an interesting thing right there in and of itself. But I have been busy. And um, I told Jeff this morning, the biggest enemy really to accomplishing your goals is other people's goals. Um, basically distractions. Every time I go out every single day, I am presented with something that is not in my plan, okay? And that is not in my plan, I would call that a distraction. You can't really identify what a distraction is until you know you're being distracted, okay? That's why you have to have a goal. You have to know what you want. You have to have, and I, I tell you, I think, you know, and I don't master this, but I will tell everyone that I'm going to master this, and that's having a list, uh, of, of a checkoff list. Uh, my wife is amazing. She's the most productive person in the world. Many of all the, of the especially probably the, the women on the call are like, they're moms, you know, they have to master organization. Um, we, have, we can learn a lot from moms, let's just say that. Uh, but I, on the list side, you know whether or not when you check off something that you've accomplished what you needed to accomplish. And if you're distracted, you can come back to that list and actually see if you were able to check it off. I think there's a lot of power in that. Jeff, and I'm not sure electronically, because I try to do it on my Google Calendar. I'm not believing that the Google Calendar, I think the handwritten calendar, something where you handwrite notes and you, and you can check off a list. Like if I put notes on my iPhone 
I never really work it as well as I do an actual physical list. So I'm going back to paper on that one. But I liken distractions to um, basically going fishing and you throw the, 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 the you know, you throw the, uh, the, uh, the hook in the water and it just starts going wherever it's going to go. But when you have a purpose, you know your purpose is to catch a fish. You actually pull, pull back and you've got that fish right on the line and you're pulling it in and that was your purpose. But most of us, unfortunately, lead our days by throwing that, that line in and it, just letting it go throughout the day and, and, and with no intention. They forgot they went fishing, okay? Yeah, they let go of the fish. pole. You let go of the pole, exactly. Yeah, so um, there's nothing any of us can do about distractions. And, and Jeff, I, I want you to know, and I know you want me to have free reign on this, I want to help everybody on this because part of it is we feel very guilty when we're not getting the things done. Like, you know, you mentioned my business in, in the month of June. Well, he's 100% on track, but am I discouraged about it? No, because I, I had to accept that something had to give somewhere. All of us have to realize something's got to give somewhere, okay? I mean, your priorities, your, your personal life, your family, you know, the things you have to do to succeed every day economically and your VNI business. I make VNI part of every day, Jeff. I, I touch someone every day. I mean, it's something. It's not nothing. It's something. It may not be my checklist, my whole list, but I'm always mentioning this product, introducing this product. I listen well for health issues and I listen for economy issues, somebody that needs to make some money. I stay focused in that way every day. I never miss a day on that. Um, but the bigger picture of following up with, you know, distributors and making sure everybody's hitting their goals. No, that's not something that, that I can do every day, but that's something that everyone needs to do every day if you want to have a big business. So I just want everybody to feel a little bit better about distractions and, and know that we're all in there with you. We all have them, but just make B and I a priority and know why you're doing it. And if you do that, um, you're going to have a very successful business. I know it. You will. But you just need to do that. Absolutely. I want to um, summarize some of this, and then I wanna, I've got another question for you. So if you look at it, we talk about this every – you've talked about it multiple different angles today already. We talk about it every Thursday night as part of our PowerPoint presentation that, you know, how do you build a, a V&I empire, a customer base, partner team, you know, use the products every day, number two. Share the products, okay? All right. And how do we do that? We do that with the, the, the concept of invite, uh, share, and follow up. Um, all right. So at the end of the day, and this is something, Mike, that, that you are doing, and, and I want to make sure this comes out. Even when you're distracted, I'm talking to the team now, in, in any way, you know, as Mike was communicating, even when you've got other priorities, like in the month of June, and, you know, sometimes those challenges those can, be, can be positive, you know, distractions, positive, you know, priorities that are pulling you in a different direction <clears throat> that, 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 are, that are something you, you, you need to focus on, not, not a distraction, but a pro another priority. Sometimes it's a, it's a priority that's pulling you towards a challenge. Maybe it's health. Maybe it's a family challenge. Maybe it's a ch child or grandchild challenge or whatever. We all, every, very rarely is there ever going to be a month where you're not pulled in different directions. And it, because, so that's why, again, having the foundational clarity, keyword is clarity, on what you want out of your VNI business and why you're doing it. That's what's going to keep you focused. And, and that's the difference between spare time and part time. So once you're beyond that, once, you know, the fundamental building block of using the products every day on your subscription, and if you, that's the building block that you never, ever, you know, want to want to give ground on. Always nourish your body with these amazing products. Nourish your body, nourish your body, nourish your body. Now, when it comes to sharing, and this is something, Mike, that you have been doing very consistently. It's something all of our leaders do. Cynthia yeah. Sauer is busy. Ken Nasmus is busy. Everyone plugged into this and listening to the recording is busy. But because your VNI mission is a priority, you're sharing the products consistently. 
It's about, it's about education. It's about sharing information. So you invite people to learn about VNI, you share the information, you let the tools do the work, and you follow up. That's where we talk about breaking the zero. Okay, so how important, Mike, do you, as you look ahead to going executive director and beyond, breaking the zero, folks, for those of you that don't know what that means, that means don't let a month go by where you don't at least bring on one customer with a product order and a subscription set up, or one partner with a product order and a subscription set up, ever. If you will do that, if you'll teach and train that, you'll be amazed at what happens with your business. So back to back to you, Mike, on the on the mission of sharing. That's what we want the newest partners to know. Yeah. If, as you're learning, the main thing is stay at what I call point of share. Share the products with new people on a consistent basis, and your business will grow. Back to you, Mike. What are you? What is your? You know, add your your okay. perspective on any of that. All right. Well, uh, you know, again, uh, you, many of you know I'm in the tennis business, and so we run uh, tennis academies, and you know, we get kids started uh, in the game, and then we take them up to you know the, the the top of my fingers, where you know that's what I'm dealing with today. Top touring professionals coming through and training those pros. Okay. But I want everybody to focus on the bottom of that side because the bottom of you know you know the triangle is getting this product in someone you care about, someone you meet, someone you feel has a need in their hands. I think, I think that's the whole foundation of our business. You know, everything else sort of takes care of each other. You have to get more organized as you move up that triangle. You know, some of these other things we're talking about become important, but don't let a day go by where, you know, you don't feel that the most important thing you can do is share the product, share the knowledge of the product, give a sample if you can, if that opportunity is there. Um, that is 50% of this business, I would say. I mean, I don't know, Jeff, you may correct me, but it may be 80%. It's, it's so much a big part of this business that when you put this product in front of someone, it may be 90% because a little tip up here at the top, oh, there's one in a million people that go tennis pro, and there's just a very few people right here that are going, you know, that, that, that reach the very pinnacle of what they want to do. But the whole base is built on sharing this product with people. So yeah, I would say it's 90%. Yeah. And to your, to your point, Mike, it, every, we, we're all, you know, with very few exceptions, if you live in an extraordinarily rural area and, and you're on a giant, uh, you know, family farm with no employees, I mean, most of us to some degree, are connecting with people and seeing people and our founder and CEO is, is plugged into this call and is very excited about the content we're sharing. But he, he just said, you know, opportunities happen when conversations open the door, just yeah. talk to people, you know, and I'll say, and I'll share this. Um, I had a coaching call with one of Ken Nasmith's uh, folks the other day, and this is a very busy, just a, 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 a version of your busy entrepreneurial life, Mike, where you know, he's like, how can I fit it in? I love the products. I've seen the impact. I love the idea of a diversified cash flow, a recurring cash flow that I could build over the next three, four, five years without putting capital at risk, you know, like most businesses. And he said, but how can I do it? So long story short, his action plan for sharing is he's in rush hour in the mo every morning. So he's going to make at least one. Now, sometimes he's going to do more, but at least one neat call with a specific purpose of sharing the VNI products, he's going to forward the video from his website. That's it. That's what he's going to do. And at night, he's going to follow up on the video from the day before. Very so, good. So he, it, and he, we're, we're looking at that being 10 minutes, maybe a day. And that's his plan. And he's going to do that five days a week for the next 90 days. That's the goal. Anybody could do that. So, you know, like Jim Rohn says, yeah. the things that are easy to do are easy not to do. But if you yeah. make it a priority, part-time, not spare time, and you do some of the things you're talking about, you'll see the results. The only time you want, if you're planting seeds and sharing and never following back up, yeah. you're not going to see the results as you, as you and I know from experience. So let me ask you this. All right, so our, our third step when we talk about is teach others to do the same. So, num you know, number one is use the products every day. Number two is share the products, invite, you know, let the tools do the work, How, let the videos do the work, let the Thursday night 
Zoom presentations do the work. And by the way, that's the tools are part of the follow-up too. So for example, uh, was on a coaching call this morning, the individual shared our product science video with an individual who then has an interest in the business. So the next step is, that's what, that's a great phrase. The next step is, the next step is they shared Thursday night's Zoom replay from Bill and myself that, that goes through the full uh, 40 minute presentation as the follow up. So you're letting the tools do all the heavy lifting through the process. So when it comes to teaching others to do, to um, use and share, I'm sending that in the chat bar. So number one, use the products every day. Number two, share the products. Number three, teach others to do the same, to use and share. I'm gonna, I wanna give you five minutes to spread your wings and cover any of that. You know, you, you've already talked about by staying plugged in, but um, you know, what would you, what would your, your last, you know, you, we're sitting down having coffee, I'm a brand new partner. We've covered a lot of great information, got a lot of notes, exactly. Got a lot of notes. What would your, um, what would your closing comments be? And I want to remind you this, we didn't plan this. Remember when we had a coaching session with Ross, your brand new partner? Yeah. You asked him an amazing couple of questions um, about um, that I think is a wonderful thing to cover. Now, this is, I'm springing this on go, you. Go right ahead. Yeah. You, so you, you asked, you said, you said, Ross, what are, are there any fears or doubts? Is there anything that could hold you back that we need to talk about? Um, as we embark on this mission together, is there, is there anything that you, you know, anything that you, um, you know, an obstacle or a barrier that, that might pull you off track that we could proactively talk about and put a plan in place? Yeah. And that yeah. was, that, that was a, I thought that was a very powerful coaching question that, uh, that I hadn't heard very often. And I think it's a good one. Jeff, I'll, uh, I'll answer that and comment on that. And Ross is someone as busy as I am in transition, one of my future great leaders. Um, he and Bob Hoffman right now are the two that I've got that are really working hard and, and going to be great. I want to liken everything you just said. Are everybody ready for this? Can you see it, Jeff? Uh, it's a pic. Yes, I've seen the picture. Absolutely. Okay. So that's a picture of my, my daughter, McKaylee, when she was born. And I think of every new distributor like that, because the truth is, in the very beginning, if you get someone started, either as a customer or especially as a partner, I want to talk as a partner, okay? As a partner, if you get them started and don't give them all the love, support, and caring that is needed in the beginning, I can only visually give you the picture of a, of a tornado coming through and just raking havoc on them and rainstorms, clouds, everything. They're sitting there soaking wet and they're not motivated because they have been hit by every obstacle imaginable when they're brand new. So if you don't spend a lot of time with your brand new folks you're making, that would be an error, okay? That would be an error. Um, Jeff, you want to say something? You look like you do. Okay. I'm totally, I'm absorbing. It's good stuff. Well, that's probably the most important thing is really, you know, they're like babies when they're brand new, that you want to hold their hand. You want to, you want to be there for them. You got to get the baby bottle formula. You've got to take it in hey, small Mike, steps. Mike, I'm sorry. You accidentally uh, stopped your video partner. I want to make sure we see it. There you are. You're sorry back. about that. Sorry about that. All good. Uh, but yeah, you want to picture them in your mind like they're, you know, a brand new baby. You've got to really help them grow up, okay? Help them grow up. Help them become fantastic adults and, and, and take them through the whole process. It can happen very quickly or it can happen slowly, but just take it at the pace. And then, uh, Jeff, I guess I almost want to wrap up with this. I want to I want to let everybody know just a quick story about you and and uh, and Bill Downs and Kim. I think Kim probably did this. So you you mentioned that we're going to South Africa in about a week, and I want to tell everybody. First of all, my kids think, Dad, you bring in the protovite. Are you bringing the concentrate? You know, because it's easier to go with the small the, the concentrate that's in here. Um, so. So I called the uh, customer service and talked to, you know, talked to everybody there, Craig and, and Sophia. And, uh, and I let them know, you know, hey, we're leaving in a week and I don't have enough product to get there because we're going to be gone maybe two and a half weeks. 
And uh, so what happens is, Sophia and Craig get in touch with Kim Downs. Kim personally packages up what, what uh, she had up in her warehouse up in Philadelphia. And she and Bill made sure that I got that. And Jeff, you helped me out last month at your place, mm -hmm. giving me some product for that. But I had ordered this and, and it was gonna maybe, you know, because of whatever, it was maybe back order. But I want you to know what kind of company are we a part of here that doesn't make sure that this isn't a priority. So I can't thank everybody enough and it always makes me proud. Awesome. Thank Mike. Thank you so much, folks. I, I, I am, uh, we're going to do more of this. I've gotten uh, multiple text messages. Uh, people are getting so much and got so much out of, of our call. Mike, your leadership, your influence uh, has in a very short period of time made it made a big impact. And as you and I talked about and have talked about multiple times for all of us, it, it, we're just getting started. I mean, we're just getting started. Um, I know your vision is crown ambassador and beyond. Um, and I know many of our partners listening in live and recording, uh, their vision is, is ambassador, crown ambassador beyond. And by the way, beyond, we will have, just so you know, for our, 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 um, our big thinkers out there, we will have a pin level beyond crown ambassador, just so you know. Wow. We already got it planned. So the sky's the limit. Um, our vision is big. Uh, there are a lot of people to help. It's all about contribution. And, and uh, Mike, you're, you're, an, you're an amazing leader. You're a wonderful friend. And, um, and we are blessed to have, have your leadership. So thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for all you do. All right, partner. Thank you so Good much. Luck. Good luck to everybody. Yes, if you look at the chat bar on behalf of Mike and myself, um, finish June strong, folks. Um, break the zero. Um, we've got, you know, you've got uh, a, a full, a little bit over a full week left to finish June strong. Break the zero. Make it fun. Get your team, pull your team together over the next day or two and make it a goal to add a new customer uh, between now and the end of the month. But set, a, set a goal. The person that adds the most customers, everybody pitches in. Five dollars and gets a gift certificate to Amazon. You know, do some do some fun things. That's that's what leadership's all about. And 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 you got a whole team that's going to help you, including myself. So um, thank you, Mike. Thanks everyone. Have an awesome awesome Saturday, and uh, and let's go and grow. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thank you, Jeff.